Hey guys, you're about to see a video on how to start doing solo ads to bring in people on demand, on tap traffic for your business. Um, but I did just want to mention because I forgot to put it in the video you're about to see that below this there's actually going to be a link if you want to start, um, uh, if you're interested in trying a solo ad that you can get $5 off actually with the link below. So um, check that out in the description after you watch this video and you learn kind of about what solo ads are and how to use them and why you should be using them. Um, but there will be a link below if you want to check it out and you will get $5 off your solo ad purchase. So enjoy the video guys. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I want to talk to you about how you can start getting traffic on demand, okay? There's a bunch of ways out there that you can get traffic in. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, but they all have their own benefits and disadvantages and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about solo ads. Now for a long time I didn't even know what that was and maybe you're watching this video and you have no clue what it is either, but today you're going to learn exactly what they are, why I love them, and why you should start using them as well. So the website, the main platform I use to get solo ads from is called Udemy. You can see it here, it's called or spelled U-D-I-M-I. -I. I don't know if you say Udemy or if it's Udemy. Either way, um, it's a marketplace basically for a bunch of people selling solo ads. What is a solo ad? Basically, what it is is, say you want to start email marketing. You want to message emails out to your subscribers and you want to... Um, let them know of a great new product you're using or check out my newest YouTube video, whatever you wanna promote, but you don't have an email list. You have no subscribers, you have no following, no anything, so who could you send it to? You could write an email, but nobody's gonna open it. So what other people have done who have massive email lists, they allow other people to send an email to their email list, and then you can gain some people through their list, basically is what it is. That's what a solo ad is. So some of these people have massive, massive lists, and they are also promoting to their own lists to make their own money, but they have so many people that they're also selling the opportunity to other people to promote, uh, email their list. So uh, Udemy is a marketplace of all of these people who have lists, and they are um, allowing you to purchase clicks from their list. So how it works basically is you can come to the main page here, and this is kind of the main uh, screen that you'll come to the home page if you will um, and you can pick a few options and I'll kind of explain what they mean so you have a little bit uh, of an easier time navigating this it's very very simple but I think just a brief overview here will will give you a lot more confidence in sort of choosing someone so um, basically uh, visitors you can just leave this around 100 or 200 that's not really important but um, I don't really mess with the ratings I like to see everybody uh, price what this will do and you can hover over these and see what they are if you forget but this is the maximum price you wish to pay for a visitor that has passed all of Udemy's filters so Udemy is constantly filtering through things to make sure you're getting quality people because if they didn't no one would use this service because all these people would take your money and just send you a, f a bunch of fake random uh, clips uh, clicks from bots and weird you know uh, countries but no one had no one's looking to buy anything that you're offering can't even speak your language or whatever so it's very useful that Udemy provides that service of filtering so that way we can be ensured that we're getting uh, a lot of value for our money and it keeps everyone on here honest now is everybody perfect no there's gonna be better and worse people and I'm gonna be showing you how to kind of uh, sort through that but and of course you're gonna have some tests that don't uh, don't do well but we'll start small and see, make sure certain people are giving us some quality um, clicks and then we'll, we'll go up from there. But um, basically guys, I keep this at the maximum just because I want to see everybody. But you can put this as low as 40 cents, which means you'll only see people who have 40 cent clicks or lower. So um, that means that every time someone clicks uh, from their, the email that you sent to their list, it costs you only 40 cents, which is very, very cheap for paid marketing. Um, if you're advertising on Google or Facebook, um, you know, you can be expected to pay anywhere between two, three, four, or five dollars a click sometimes. So, um, depending on your niche. So, um, that's obviously uh, one of the benefits of using a solo ad provider is because you can get your uh, customers in your business very, very cheap and seeing what you have to offer. But like I said, I keep this sort of at the maximum just to make sure I see everybody because I want to kind of make a choice out of the whole the whole pack. Um, this one is very important. So God sales, see only sellers who have generated sales 
for customers on the last 100 solos that they've done for people. So I put this at a, a you know, 20% is reasonable, you know, because once you start to go high, you don't have that many left. Um, but I put at 20%. So this means that at least 20 out of the last 100 people got a sale, at least one sale from their solo run. Now you have to remember a couple things when, um, when hearing that. You might think, oh, that's terrible. Only two out of 10 people made money. Not necessarily. Most people are sending solo ads with only one goal, which is not to make a sale, but to build their own email list. So they are uh, sending these people to their page that puts in their email and um, they capture them so they can start to build their own email list, just like these people have done. So then eventually you get to the point where you don't need to buy this anymore because you have you know, a few thousand or whatever um, emails on your email list. So now when you have a cool offer that you want to promote or you have a, an awesome video you just made and you want to get it a ton of views, you can push that out into your own email list and, and you can do it for free at that point because you own it. So when you see 20% of the people made sales, that's actually really good because um, most of these people aren't even looking to make sales to begin with. So keep that in mind. But it is always good to see that some people are making sales and the reason is because that means the people they're sending are real quality people and are ready to spend money. So if you're getting sales at all, I can pretty much trust that they're not sending me a bunch of fake robot clicks and uh, that sort of thing. So, <clears throat> and the people probably speak my language and that and that kind of thing you want to keep in mind. So I keep it at about 20, that's good. Um, the niche, they don't have a ton of niches on here, but if you're in MySpace internet marketing, which probably a lot of you are if you're watching this video, um, they have marketing, but you can also do finance or health and uh, if you go to any niche and sort through them, they do have a couple other um, random ones that you might be able to find if you're if you're kind of doing something that's outside of the internet marketing uh, niche. But um, as far as solo ads are concerned, most people who are selling solo ads are either for um, internet marketing, make money, uh, investing, that sort of thing, and then a few are like into the health, but that's about what most of them do. So that's a few of these guys. Now let's kind of jump down here into the um, into the solo ad sellers. So basically, they just kind of go in a list here, and I'll explain what a what a couple of these uh, things mean on the side. So this is the price that were they charge per click, um, and like I said, I have it set at the lowest price or the highest price, so I see everybody. Um, so it'll be anywhere between forty and ninety five cents a click. So sixty five cents a click, um, forty nine cents a click, forty cents a click. Uh, 49 cents a click but you can see overall it's very cheap especially when you compare it to paid advertising now with paid advertising you might be getting um, a more targeted person so you pay for that like if you're on Google Ads you know someone exactly what they're searching for you want to target those people so you know that they're really interested in that certain thing they just typed so that might be important to you and um, there's benefits to that as well but the downside of that is that it does cost a little bit more. So this is a great way to get people who are uh, interested in your business, but they are on a, uh, if you're on like a budget, you can you can really get some stuff flown for cheap. Um, so that's the, the price you'll pay per click. Now here is the that number for the people who made the sales. And like I said, you can hover over this and kind of see. And it says um, percentage of buyers who reported sales out of the last 100. So 30% means that 30 got sales out of the last 100. So 35, that's great. Um, but you can see, okay, so yeah, 26%, 60%, which is absolutely insane. Um, that's almost hard to even believe. But uh, you can see here, now we go to the, the one below that, and these are the amount of people who um, basically gave it a thumbs up saying this was a good run for me. Like I, I bought 100 people and uh, it turned out really well for me. Now, this is the people who didn't like it. So even though that they have a couple of those, when someone has this many likes, I don't really take this number too seriously because out of 2,000 people, if they thought it was good and then six people didn't, chances are those six people have no clue what they're doing and it's not this guy's fault that they had a bad solo ad. It's probably their fault. Like their, their offer was probably terrible or they're just the type of people that complain about everything. I mean, we've all seen those like Amazon products that have like 7,000 five-star reviews and there's like three one-stars, people saying like, oh, this was the worst product I've ever used. You know, there's always gonna be that. So unless this number is really high, I wouldn't really take it seriously, especially when, when the ratio of this is like literally, you know, what is that, 500 to one? I mean, that's, it's just outrageous. Um, 
but you know most people udemy is pretty good at keeping these people um ranked so that the, the ones you're coming up on top are pretty solid but you still want to sort through so uh, just to kind of recap what we talked about here, you can filter what you want to pay per click. You can put this lower if you don't want to see the higher ones. Um, you can pick a niche and then, you know, put your got sales at it, probably at least 10%. I like to do 20%, but that's up to you. Um, but now let's dive into one of these guys. So if I click on this, first let's read. He says 100% tier one traffic. What tier one means is um, coming from the probably the big five, I guess we would call it. So uh, US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the UK. Basically, it's the five English speaking countries. Um, sometimes people include like Ireland and uh, things in there as well, but generally it's US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and UK. So if someone says 100% tier one traffic, that means that all of their traffic, 100% is coming from those five countries, probably mostly the US. And they're the reason why that's important to us, and this this is true for even if you're not in one of those countries, because if you're selling anything, you want to have those people seeing it because at, statistically out of the entire world, those people spend the most on consumer products. English-speaking countries just spend the most money on purchases. That's just, that's just basically what it is. So whether I live in the United States or not, I would still want to be targeting these people, and I, su I suggest you do the same. So he has 100% tier one traffic, and you'll see this a lot on here with 10% over delivery for a limited time, but he probably will do it all the time. But most of these people will do over delivery and they always do that because they want to encourage you to buy their solo ad. But um, so you can expect to get 10% over delivery on most of these. Uh, like this guy says 10 to 20% over delivery. So basically what they'll do is they'll, um, like if you ordered 100, you could probably get like 110. If you ordered 200, you'd probably get 220, that kind of thing. Um, and it also encourages you is, encourages you to buy a lot more because if you got you know a thou if you ordered a thousand people you'd get a free one hundred people that's a lot at that point so um, look for that as well um, all right so let's let's just click into this and I'll kind of show you what what happens when we when we open this guy so now um, we get a recap of all this a percentage of repeat orders could be a good statistic when you're looking through all these guys you want this number to be high. Because if, if like, yeah, all their numbers look great, but then it's like, you know, only 3% of people reorder, then it's probably probably a reason for that, you know? Um, so the higher this number is, the better. And, and once we kind of find a, a couple that we like, we can really start comparing them, okay? You know, this guy is, has like, you know, 50% repeat orders. This guy has 20, but this guy is cheaper. So maybe I'll test a small one on this one. You know, you can just uh, make your own judgments. But uh, this right here, what I love is because it'll give you a live right on the spot cost of what you're going to pay so right here if i have this set at 200 i can just drag and drop this and you, or slide this and you see the price changing okay so right now it's uh, 150 people will cost me 77 bucks so if as you if I, as i slide this you'll see the price change now what i would always do myself is test anyone at 100 visitors before i ever bought more the reason why i would do that is because um if you do le like you don't want to do more than that because you don't want to waste all your money on someone who might be a terrible email list um, maybe their list has just been sent so many things that they're not really ready to buy things or maybe they um, so maybe they slip some things past the U udemy filters and they do send you some bots which is very unlikely but it does happen um, so I would always start really low. So um, everything includes a $3 base price. So this will be a little bit more than what you'd think. So 100 people should cost 49 bucks, but it costs 52 bucks because of this filter price. And this is what Udemy charges to make sure you're getting real people and, and quality people because they want you to come back. So they try to keep everybody in line. So um, I would always start at 100. And the reason why I wouldn't go less than this, because even though you could do 50, which is his minimum, um, and just say, oh, I'll just start with a little tester on 28, it's not really enough oftentimes to get a good picture of what you would, uh, to test your offers and to test your, if you're doing a sales funnel, you might not get accurate information if you're testing a product uh, that you're trying to sell or if you're trying to build your email list. 100 is a great number because um, out of 100 people, you're always going to get 
like out of every group of 100 people, there's going to be some people who are just not interested at all, some people who are very interested, some people who are in the middle, some people who, you know what I mean? There's just going to be so many different types. It's a broad spectrum of people in a group of 100. Whereas 50, it's, it, it's possible that out of these 50, 40 of them are just like no, and 10 are like maybe. That can happen. But out of 100, there's always going to be at least three or four who are like, yes, I love this. I want to try this now. Just because of statistics, there's always going to be a certain percentage of people who are ready to buy something, they're impulsive, they're whatever. So I would always do 100 and then you scale up after you after you figure out if this person's a good person to buy from. So if I did 100 run for 52 bucks, that's a pretty good price considering what paid ads cost and other methods. Um, and the, how this works is you get your 100 people no matter what. So it's not like they send your email to 100 people and if they come, they come. No, they keep sending the emails to their list until you get 100. So if it took them, they might have to send this to 1,000 people, they might have to send it to 10,000 people depending how many people click that link, but they will keep sending it and sending it and sending it until you, until you hit 100. And that's often why they give you an over delivery because they're just sending it to so many people and then by the time it hits your 100, more people are still clicking and you'll get at least 10% extra. So. Um, there's a couple other things to mention here. Um, what will they be sending them? So if you have an offer, like a landing page that you're trying to collect emails on, or you're trying to send traffic to an affiliate offer, or you're trying to, you know, maybe you just have a YouTube video that you want to get a lot of views to or whatever, um, whatever you're promoting, you can put that link here and they will write, um, a letter to their email list about it, promoting you. Or you can say, I have ad text, and then you can write out your own thing, what you want them to send. Now, you have to remember something here. You're not e uh, emailing your own list here, so you can't really write it in the first person. You can't write, um, you know, hey guys, I wanted you to check out my latest YouTube video. This is going to be really helpful for you if you're just starting out making money online. Um, I thought this would be a great way to get started for newbies. You can't say that because you're not the one with the email list. They're not your emailer, so it will make, wouldn't make sense for you to be saying I, I, I. So you would need to write this as if you were him talking about you. So basically like, um, you know, hey, have you heard of... Uh, blank your name he's absolutely crushing it online check out his amazing system on how he's making blank per day um here's a link to check out his his uh his new his new product okay that's the kind of example you'd want to put here and now it doesn't have to be that exactly like i said you have to tailor it to what you're doing specifically what you're trying to promote but that's basically the way you want to write it as if he's talking about you and then when his email list gets it from him because they're usually getting emails from him so that's what it would make sense as and then they're, they're thinking like oh i know and this guy i get emails from him all the time they trust him they have a relationship with him and now he's recommending you so you will by nature get some of that um uh, you know, um, trust passed along. Okay, so that's that's an option. I always try to write my own, but that's completely up to you. If you don't feel comfortable in it, you can ask them. They will most almost uh, always write something for you. Uh, so here's a couple other things you can check out. You know, and like I said, you can really use these when you're comparing who you really want to go with. But um, you know, top two in July for sales, Hall of Fame member, 14 awards, favorited 26 times in the last couple of days. People are adding people to their favorites. Uh, but let's go down here. You can read through these reviews if you want. Um, like a lot of people in here are talking about like, yeah, you gave me 10% extra, C cent extra. Okay. This is what I wanted to bring you to. And this is at uh, the bottom of every single seller's page. So this is a map of where that traffic is coming from. Now, if we hover over here, we can see this is 91% from the United States, um, Canada, 1%. Okay. So, uh, probably get a little bit one. Uh, one percent United Kingdom, uh, one percent India, one percent Australia, uh, New Zealand, one percent probably. Okay, so okay, so but if we really want to see a detailed breakdown, you can hover right over here to top tier countries, and this is like what I was telling you. So it's basically United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, India shouldn't even really be in there, um, but uh, then five percent all the rest. But it's still it's still true what they're saying ninety three percent top tier because that would be United States Canada and UK mainly and a lot of people put Australia in there as well so um, this is huge you know you want to make sure that they have this if they don't then you really don't want to do it it's going to be a waste of your money so look for that as a must 
Um, I'll look through one more one more guys here to kind of give you another example, but you're kind of getting the gist of this, and I hope that this gives you, um, you know, a little more confidence when you're navigating here. And let's look at this guy. I've checked him out before. All right, so fresh subscribers added daily. Uh, high tier one, ninety percent. See United States, Canada, UK, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand. With ten percent over delivery, that's what OD means, and quick deliveries. Um, fresh traffic with buyers works well with make money online, crypto, biz op. I don't know what these are. Um, work from home ops. Uh, I don't accept no mobile orders. Oh yeah, you can put if you want, like you know, only people who are on desktops. Some people allow that, some don't, like him obviously. Um, and see, he put I can also supply a custom text if needed that basically means he'll write the email for you that's what the swipe is uh, your email that you want to send so that's if you're if you're nervous about what to write you can uh, look for someone who's willing to offer that but like I said if you if they don't write that they probably still will if you just contact them and ask them and say hey I don't really know what to write but here's my link can you help me out uh, so let's go down here like I said you can read through these reviews if you want um, but then again I would hover over here and look 90% United States 2k 2% UK 1% Canada 1% Australia 1% New Zealand that's a classic top tier five big five uh, market now this is this looks like a great solo this is something I would definitely test at least a small run because you're getting t uh, tier one traffic. I mean, this dude has almost 2,000 thumbs up with only three dislikes. Look at his price, is absolutely cheap, che like one of the che cheapest on here, really, 40 cents a click, which is outrageous. Um, and then, uh, let's see if there's a, uh, yeah, and 22% of people in the, in the past 100 solos said they got sales, so that's great. 16% rewarders, I guess is not, bad but it's not great but it's like i said it's something i would test now i wouldn't come in here and be like yeah it sounds so cheap i'm gonna buy 500 no i would come here and test out 100 it only cost me 43 bucks i can probably make that money back with offers that i'm promoting so i really will break even just to test it and then if i uh think wow this dude sent me a bunch of people people bought my stuff he's sending me the real deal then maybe I'll put this at 200, do another run, and then go up from there, you know, and then I'm still making my money back, so it's not like I'll keep having to spend, 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 spend. You're spending money, you're making money. You're spending money, you're making money, and you keep scaling and scaling. Um, but the main thing I wanted to share with you guys, why I love solo ads so much, is because with um, A, email, okay, let me break this down a little bit. So when you're doing um, Facebook ads, Google ads, Bing ads, whatever kind of paid marketing you want to do, Basically, you always have the risk of getting shut down because those ad networks are amazing. Like the, 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 the amount of money that some people can make from those are outrageous. If when you know what you're doing and you have your targeting right and your campaigns are on point, sometimes you'll have bad campaigns, but when you get that good one, you can really just you know take off and, and there's people who are making millions because they have great ad campaigns on Facebook or Google or whatever. Um, but the downside is at any time you can make an ad that's against their terms of service or is um, in violation of one of their policies and, and that's all it takes and they can just absolutely shut you down. I've had Facebook accounts shut down and I've been so frustrated because I know I didn't even do anything wrong. Um, like I didn't do anything with, um, you know, violence or weapons or uh, inappropriate content. I was, was like it wasn't anything racist or, you know, like things that they you, you would expect to get shut down for. It was just like a regular ad for a product that I had back on an old uh, dropshipping store and they just shut me down. So and I was locked out of my account. I couldn't get back in and I had to make a whole new account. So. Um, that can happen guys and that's something you need to keep in mind. So as powerful as those networks are, you're always at the mercy of those uh, platforms. Now with email marketing, it's it's much, much less strict. And in fact, there's no restrictions at all, really. I mean, you can send these people whatever you want. They're gonna take your order and it's it's email. You know, it's not really owned by anyone like, like, um, like you know, Facebook is or Google is. I mean, technically who they have their email address through is owned by those people, but they don't monitor every email and, and make sure that what you're sending them is, is not in violation of their terms because that would just be impossible and you know they can't really make rules for what you can send to a friend or whatever so um, anyway that's kind of why I love solo ads because they I, I like to just kind of be free and say what I want to say and promote what I want to pr promote and don't want to have to worry is my landing page compliant and do I have everything set up so that Google will like it and not shut me down or is Facebook gonna approve this ad and all this 
This way, if you want traffic on tap, if you want to, you know, be able to basically push button, I want 100 people coming in and I only want to pay 40 bucks, you can do that here. Okay, so um, start small, test small, and uh, from there you can really, really start to see some results quickly. And then, like I said, you can always add other things to your tool belt. You know, it's a, it's a great thing to always be doing. Uh, having a bunch of, of avenues of where you're getting people from you want to be doing free free marketing and you want to be doing paid marketing but within those you want to be doing uh, different ways so like in paid marketing you want to be doing solo ads Google ads Facebook ads testing everything seeing what works for you so that way you can kind of find what works best for you but this is a great place to start because those platforms can be very very difficult to navigate uh, if you have no experience I mean this I'm making this video a little bit longer because I'm talking about a lot of things, but I could have explained this to someone in five minutes if I wanted to um, because it's very, very simple. In fact, you probably could have figured it out yourself even if without this explanation, but I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an overview so when you do go here and make a purchase, you feel a lot more confident when you're um, striking, making a decision and, and uh, you know figuring out who you want to go with. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked this video. hope this helps you out a lot. Um, if you did, Please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm always posting videos trying to help you with your online journey and how you're making money online, growing your audience, growing your influence. Um, drop, uh, please drop a like, drop a comment. I'd love to know what you think about this and hopefully um, you can give me some suggestions on what you want to see next. So again, I hope this helps guys. Um, good luck on your solo ads and I will see you on the next one.